Alright guys, and welcome back to more Bravely Second. We are finally about to advance the story of the game after a couple of parts where I had to advance the cutscenes and then literally show off a trick that I learned. And uh, what we want to do now is actually get on the other side of this, uh, I want to say map. We want to get on the other side of this uh, area so we can actually get to the place to where we want to go to do the side quest. And the side quest usually nets us new asterisks or new classes. So that's what we're definitely going to do. In the meantime, we're going to look for uh, items that are apparently hidden around town right now. There's a couple of items that we still need to get here. Oh, looks like we just got them all. Okay. So here we are. There's uh, two, two items over here that we can get in this area. My major is swordsmanship, and even I can admit that Jan's swordsmanship was in a whole different class, especially the way that he could uh, attack and then drop it right back into ready position. It was like Wolf Fang going Orox, Wolf Fang going Orox. By keeping up that defensive pose, he could lay into the enemy while also boosting his own stats non-stop. Alright, so there's two items in here. Who's this lady? Have a rest and relax in the dorms. Nah, I'm good. Oh, there he is. What a shameful defeat. Oh, and on that note, did you, any of you happen to see a figure in green? If you do encounter him, I ask you to inform me. Oh, that man, my thanks. A figure in green. Wow, wow, wow. We got a wake up bell. Wake up, bro. All right, we got all the items here, so let's get out of here. James Major is traitorship. <laughs> Traitor. He's a traitor, man. So we just got the items from that uh, building. There's probably another building we can go in. Um, Actually, I actually want to buy some equipment. Cause I don't even think I optimize my equipment. Oh, yeah. Brought it. Oh, yeah. We're just going to buy, like, one of everything. We can afford everything right now. We got our glaive, magic knife. We're just going to buy everybody. Every We're going to buy one of everything. Desert cap. We're gonna buy like maybe three. Three. Legion helm, huh? No special effects. Herania captain. Damn. Magic defense goes down, physical defense up. A day would greatly benefit from that. A day would actually greatly benefit from wearing the academy gown, all in all, to be honest. So we're gonna buy two more, because. I see a few. No, we're gonna buy three. Screw it. Ring mail. We'll buy like one. Well, I bought two on accident. Whatever. Silver glasses, eh? Alright, looks like we're good. No dachi. Alright, so we're gonna come over here. I think there was a magic we also needed to start buying. We're going to buy a couple of remedies here. We're going to buy seven of them. Got to be ready for whatever comes our way. I got so much money. So much resource. I got so many resources, man. Man, life in our campus is the best. As long as you've got enough stars, you can get away with anything. What? You say that I bought my stars? I pray you won't judge me, sir. Some people are gifted with smarts and others with perseverance. My God-given gift is simply to be rich. That's all. Damn. What a fatty. We get Harina Sprout stir fry for breakfast and pickled Harina Sprouts for lunch. Though I wouldn't say no to a little more variety. Alright, let's come all the way here to this uh, shop. So we can buy some more magic. Oh yeah, buy all the magic. You know you can't use it yet. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm gonna buy it anyway, because I got money. 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 Physical boom. Money. Don't even care. Mystic boom. Bam. Buy some rims for a card that's I don't even have. Boom. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna buy an Xbox freaking 360 games. I ain't even got an Xbox. I ain't even got an Xbox One. Bomb bomb Xbox games. Xbox One games, you know? Alright, let's look for Oh, we got a high potion. Anything else? There's one more item we can find. Hmm. If there is some god responsible for our existence, then what is responsible for that god's existence? If we're not aware of our gods, also they also equally unaware of the existence that is above them. 
Conversely, if you define a god as higher presence, then you cannot detect using any scientific methods that you make it impossible to prove. Damn, that dude went deep on us. Real talk with uh, NPC number 62. Come on, there's got to be an item over here. There's one more item. Where is it? Maybe next year I can transfer to cat school. Bruh. Oh, what was that? What was that? Come on, man. Where is it? I know it's over here. Come on, man. Where's the item, fam? Where's the item? I will find the item. They playing with my emotions. It's got to be over here. Somewhere. Man. Come on. I just want the item. I'm just looking for the item. Screw this item. Because I can't find it. I went around every corner. Every corner. Wait, what was that? No, it was just speak. Alright. Doesn't look I'm going to probably find it. That's fine. That's fine. I didn't know where it was. Alright, so let's finally leave this area. We gotta go north right here. And that'll put us on the other side of this map. Boo, boo, doo, boo, 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 doo, boo. So, to run into the enemies here, we want to, you know, add enemies to our beast area. So, we're gonna turn on the encounter rate for a little bit. Just so we can run into the enemies here and get used to the uh, geography. Oh, I know this place. Isn't that the Wind Temple or whatever? It looks like we already fought him, so in reality, we could just use bomb fragments. Boom! <laughs> hey, turn up. Bring it on. That's all we can do we can just do this all game if we want. Oh god. Hold on. We gotta we gotta we gotta put some respect on their names. Mummy Ven Venomous Snake. What is this? Metal Gear Solid now? So actually we're gonna have Adea. We're gonna have her use examine on the venomous snake. Examine on the mummy. And then she's gonna blow up the field. Bum, 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 bum. Water, earth, aquatic. What are you weak against? Fire? Oh, 675. If she's weak against fire, she's dead. Yep, we won. Undead, fam. <laughs> fam, undead. And we got waste knot. <laughs> We're gonna call it quits. So if we keep moving here, we get to that oasis, and it looks like that's where we're supposed to go. The party is feeling brave. Just what I want to see. Do, 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 do. Ah, screw it. Just go with the freaking... Here we go. Execute. Boom. Let's see if we can run into any more new enemies here by doing one more. Oh, yeah. These, are guys, these guys are new. So we're gonna default brave. Boom, 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 boom. Sandhopper. We're gonna examine the sandhopper, and then we're gonna blow their asses up. That's pretty much gonna be the strategy for the rest of chapter one. Boom. We don't actually do that much damage. If we stopped using items, we actually wouldn't use that much damage. <laughs> it's just the fact that you can just stack up money real quick and then you can just buy uh, powerful items. But you know, later in the game, these items are gonna mean shit. These items are gonna mean shit later in the game. Enemies are gonna just come with like hundreds of thousands of health, tens of thousands of health. And these aren't gonna really matter. But early game, these items are gonna help you get through it. Uh oh, look at these guys. Alright, so we gotta use. I think I have a Zeus's Wrath. 
Ah, uh, whatever. These dudes have a lot of HP, so we're gonna have to use two bombs on them. Boom. Boom. Alright. Anybody else? Any new guys? If there's not any more new guys, we're gonna be done. The enemy's feeling brave. Okay. Blow them up, guys. Look at that. Free. Look at the amount of job points we got. So here we go. We're just gonna go to the oasis now and uh, advance through this side quest. Need water. You're saying you're thirsty? Uh, they just keep coming. Go on, after her. I guess they revived everybody that we killed in the first Bravely Default. Like, I'm highly sure we killed the Jackal in the first game. This dude, we ended his life, but he's back. Sir! What's he up to? The Jackal. Scourge of the Desert. And holder of the Thief Asterisk. <laughs> I like this little NPC little... I like this little dialogue they did with this. They're like, oh, we gotta inform you about this guy. He's the jackal. He's a thief, and uh, let's give you let's give you even more information about it. I like it. He and his band of rogues once took orders from Eternia, but went into hiding after falling to Idia and her friends. His abrasive attitude can frighten those who do not know him. But there is something more to this diamond in the rock. By what strange trick of fate do your paths cross anew? Not that way, you old bat! Hey, that's enough! What do you think you're doing? I said watch out for the quicksand! Hey, you got something to say, you sh shrew? Wait, I know you! From before! Look! If you can't tell, I'm freaking busy here. Don't just stand there looking stupid. Lend a hand already. A hand? Uh, okay. This is this track is from the first game. I love it. It's finally quieting down. Ugh, about time. I need a break. This is way harder than thieving. Whew, you know, I thought you were at it again. Bullying innocent folk in the desert, I mean. But you're actually helping them. And making sure they reach the oasis safely. There are so many people looking for water. I suppose that means the situation hasn't improved, huh? It was better for a while. Water was cheap. And the little people didn't have to grovel or steal just to quench their thirst. But now, the underground river channels are running dry. We lost three oases to the sands just since the beginning of the year. Could it be something happened to the gem? The gem? Yeah, the wellspring gem. If you're from the desert, you know about it. Ask anyone, even the kids. They'll tell you it's the source of all the water out here. Of course, it's probably just a fairy tale, right? Hey, stop shoving and wait your turn! Sorry, sir. Won't happen again. Wow, you're really in charge here. <laughs> yeah, well, just call me head of desert security. A no good ruffian like myself. <laughs> Moving up in the world, huh? Someone rounded up all the street urchins and gave me and my crew some honest work to do. Hey, how many times will I have to tell you, stay out of the quicksand, you stupid brat? Sorry, boss. <laughs> Sorry, boss. Alavas, what a lovely story. The Wellspring Gem. I remember learning about it in one of my folklore classes. I bet there'll be tomes and other records about it back in El Campus. I'll look into it the next time we're there. Oh, for Christ's sake, stop bawling and pull yourself together. So there we have it. The oases are drying up, water is running low, and the reason may lie with this wellspring gem. 
Alright, party chat. The Prime Minister's plan. The Jackal is head of desert security? That's a pretty bold move. A bold move? Yeah, by the Prime Minister appointing a bandit to police the desert? It's like asking a fox to watch the chicken coop. Maybe, but I can see the logic. Who knows the other bandits and how they work better than the Jackal? Hmm. As soon as they try to make a move, he'll know about it. Set a thief to catch a thief and all that. Though it is risky, of course. Right? Putting a man like that in charge of people's belongings. Lives, even. <gasps> Wait, the kids! What about them? Nah, maybe I'm overthinking it. I don't think the Prime Minister would be that uh, devious. You think he's holding the orphans hostage in town to keep the jackal in line? I can't say for sure, but it's definitely not out of the question. I don't know, the Prime Minister seems like such an easygoing guy. When you're responsible for an entire nation, you can't afford to play nice all the time. Yeah, I know, but still, it seems so drastic. I am the guardian of the sands. I am the Princess Aran... What is that? Aryan of the Moon Desert? You shall never take my land for me. Oh my god. Good grief, are those two playing for Tim? Let's keep this little chat to ourselves, okay? We don't want to reopen old wounds. Got it. Say farewell, wicked princess of the moon desert. Aye! <laughs> They're role playing. Get that shit out of here. Take that shit to the take that shit to the role playing forums, fam. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're gonna backtrack to Al Campus to see what's going on. Alright, so if we go to the right here, it looks like we're running into a situation. Whoa, is that De Rosa? Brave and Bad? Mr. Braving Bad. They, they just revived all the characters. Hey, you! What do you think you're doing? That's interesting. I didn't expect to find you here. Is nowhere safe from your menace? Now, now. Fiore De Rosa. Incorrigible lady killer and holder of the Red Mage Asterisk. Former leader of the Blood Rose Legion, his crimes against woman, nation, and good taste were laid bare by Idia and her friends. Known as Old Dread, this lascivious lech sees his romantic conquests as little more than objects to be manipulated for his own gain. By what strange trick of fate do your paths cross anew? Hey, uh, what is he up to? You show some respect, you hear? That's Mr. DeRosa. Huh? Mr. DeRosa? Let us find somewhere to dine, shall we? And please, don't look so scary. I won't run. It's the truth, I assure you. I was borrowing the Academy's libraries and archives, and the next thing I know, I'm part of the faculty. As an adjunct professor, you're not even an alumnus. Well, it's not as if I'm some ignorant buffoon. I've already assisted a number of my colleagues. <sighs> oh, I don't believe a word of it. <sighs> One more out, Kimpa Noodles! Make it a large! Oh, idiot! You're getting soup everywhere! In any case, they were most impressed by my new thesis on somnial energy. Mmm, c'est bon. So creamy and rich. Cook, seconds for me too. If that's alright. But of course, food is cheap here in the students' quarter. Dine to your heart's content. Couldn't they go easy on the red pepper? So, uh, what's somnial energy? Why, none other than the ultimate energy source. We've been trying to crack its secrets for quite some time. It doesn't pollute the air like fossil fuels. And unlike crystals, there's no danger of it running out of control. In theory, at least. Uh, once refined, it emits a fixed quantity of energy. It's easy to control and mass production is a cinch. Again, in theory. During refining, the energy is highly unstable. 
The slightest error could trigger a reaction powerful enough to destroy an entire city. No explanation of somnial energy is complete without mentioning that particular point. Uh, in, in theory. In theory, of course. So, assuming you can generate this somnial energy, what's your scheme this time? You know, of course, that nearly every war is fought over food or natural resources. But what if we could harness somnial energy? What would happen then? Imagine an everlasting source of energy, more powerful and stable than the crystals. If such a thing came to reality, why, there would be no more need for war. Mankind would know a new age of peace, one of harmony and stability undreamt of by any Templar or religious order. That sounds just peachy, but what exactly do you get out of all this? The pursuit of knowledge. My curiosity has been aroused. For over a year, I have immersed myself in my studies. The experience has changed me. I am a more thoughtful man than I once was. Of course you are. Um, this is skirt-chasing old Red I'm talking to, right? Do you have a fever or something? Alright, we, we just gonna forget that he was drugging girls, bringing them home and doing experiments on them? Like, why aren't you in jail, dog? <laughs> why is this dude not in jail? But, you know, we go that's none of my business, though, right? By the way, what were you two talking about earlier? It seemed awfully serious. Harnessing somnial energy isn't easy. The biggest challenge is the refining process. We need fresh water and lots of it to keep everything stable. This is a desert nation, though, and water is scarce. No doubt other realms are more fortunate, but here in our campus, Lately, I've started to lose heart. Mr. DeRosa was trying to lift my spirits. Oh, a look at the time. I'll be late for the lecture on Harina folklore. Care to join me? Sure, why not? Ah, uh, allow me. It's my treat. I don't think so. We'll pay our own way, thank you very much. You've got it covered, right you? Huh? Well, why me? Anyway... Long story short, to develop this wonder energy, they need water. And lots of it. They need water. Water, water. How do we get the water? Water boy. Water sucks. It really, really sucks. <laughs> My favorite Adam Sandler movie, Water Boy. And so, in a very real sense, it was the wellspring gem that allowed the Harina dynasty to grow and indeed prosper. Further illustrated in the desertification of the continent and the loss of this ancient treasure, spelling the dynasties. Oh my god, he's putting me to sleep. Well, there's the bell. Uh, we'll pick up where we left off next time. <sighs> I checked Woo! the archives and found quite a bit of information. Really? You did that, Bo? I don't think the Wellspring Gem is just a legend. It's definitely real. Yeah, we just heard the same thing in the lecture. <sighs> I can't eat another slurp. Well, maybe one more bowl. And... Ah! Make it a large. How do you fall asleep Good standing grief. up? That's impossible. Anyway, it seems we need to head to the western reaches of the desert. I'll mark the spot on the map. Marina ruins. The Prime Minister's ancestors. Go west, beyond the oasis, and tell Jackal he needs... 